Hey everybody, I'm here with my niece uh, Scarlett, and we're going to talk about the peg people that we've been making, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so what do we have? Who do we have here? Princess Casta. Uh huh. And um, Sir Bottom Knight. Cool, Sir Bottom Knight and Princess Casta. Okay, so we want to have a story with these people, right? Mm hmm. So what kind of story are we going to do? Is she? Does she have magic? She has magic, and it's in a workshop and the knight has to go get the magic in the workshop. Ah, cool. So 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 her magic is running out, right? Mm -hmm. And so so he needs to get more magic. So he, the knight needs to go get her more magic, right? Well, cool. That's awesome. All right. Uh so uh let's head to the table. I'll show you how I made these people and then we'll look at them uh in the adventure. To start, I needed my raw materials, so I got this bag of 40 peg people uh, from uh, Amazon. It was less than $15, and there's five different shapes, which is just really great for a different variety. Now, I grabbed one to make our knight, and I've got a piece, a craft stick there that's, uh, it's not a... Uh, a popsicle stick, but it is a uh, like a like a semi-pointed stick uh, from a pack of uh, shaped uh, wooden pieces I got from the craft store. Then I have two circular pieces, one smaller, one larger, and I have my goop here. I'm going to use that to secure the wood to the the person. It's a really strong adhesive. So first, I uh, glued everything together. I glued this larger circle for the base. I glued the smaller circle for a shield, and I cut the uh, stick. Uh, in half so it could be at the sword of the knight. So then I just glued that all together and we're good there. Now for the princess I took the female shaped uh, peg person and then I have a little doodle that I got at the craft store. They have, Like I said they have all different kinds of different shapes and I thought this would be great for the base of the skirt as well as a nice base to hold her up so she doesn't fall over. So I just glued that together and I'm all set and now we'll head to the table and start painting those up. Okay guys, Gracie and I are going to do some painting and we're going to, first we're going to use our flesh tone on some of the uh, wooden figures we've got. Uh, we've uh, taken the wooden figures and I've uh, put them together and spray painted them with a flat gray. And uh, we're going to use <laughs> our flesh tone. And what I like to do is I like to shake it up so it gets the paint really nicely and mixed. And then take the lid off. And then I have paint. See that, Gracie? I have paint in the lid, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we have our brush here. Okay. That's mine. And we're going to use a flat brush, and we're going to kind of dry it off a little bit. We don't want it too wet, right? And then what you can do is you can stick it in the paint, all right? Uh, and then take the, then take it and want to paint the heads of the people, okay? Okay. Okay? So let's uh, do it up here on the table so people can see, okay? Okay. Okay? There you go. I don't know if they can see it. <laughs> yeah, they can see it. Okay. All right, so you just want to get the whole head painted. You want it just like a layer. What about the neck? Like think think of a layer of paper. You can paint down to the neck. Okay. Yeah, paint down to the neck. Uh oh. That's all right. There we go. Okay, so you have enough on there. You won't need any more paint. Just use the paint that you already have on the head. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So what we'll do is we'll let that dry. Okay. And then we'll paint the bottom part of the of the figure, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, when you paint, um, it can really help to spread the paint out if you take your brush and you go like this and you put it on and you go like kind of go like this. See how I'm going like that? See, it's not glopping up; it's spreading it out. Okay. Okay. Do you want to use that brush? His whole body, his head, his sword, and his shield. Wow. So the whole thing. Done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the whole guy. <laughs> I think that's all of him. 
I think we got all of them. I think we did, yeah. All mm. right, sweet. So I'm gonna take over from Gracie and do some details. So here I'm painting uh, the inside of the face mask of the knight, painting that flesh. Uh, doing the neckline of the princess. Here we go. Now I'm working on some detail on the knight, uh, going around the face mask with some black. Got a very thin brush there. Oh, Gracie's grabbing some paint, paints. <laughs> We're working together. Okay, now I'm going to rim the eyes with some brown, dark brown, and do some more detail on the face. His uh, fun bulbous nose and a wide mustache. Fun, fun. <laughs> All right, some more black detail. Around the base of the helmet. And I'm going to do the visor. And uh, remember when you're thinking of this, you're just, you just think about painting on geometric shapes. That makes it really easy uh, to paint. Everything is just a geometric shape. Okay, I'm going to go around to the waist. Paint the hand on the sword there. That's the piece of wood we glued on there. Make the arm. The arm behind the shield, holding the shield. Legs. More waist. Got the feet. Now he's really starting to fill in. That peg just, that, that detail on the peg just really changes it up. Okay, now I'm going to use some bright silver. We used gunmetal to paint the guy, but I'm going to use some bright silver to uh, get, do some highlights. So you can see it's really popping out there. Do the visor. Looking good. Sword. All right, cool. Nice. Now the princess I'm gonna do her sleeves. Use this uh, darker pink here. I'm kind of doing these flowing sleeves. Like I said, just think of shapes when you do this. Paint this on. I do around her dress. Detail around her dress. Nice. Looking good. All right, now for the night, I'm going to, we want to um, paint the bases. Uh, I kind of want to do a stone like texture, so I'm going to paint them with a black wash first which is kind of a watered down black. There we go. Now doing going to do her uh, hands. I'm not getting that detailed. Almost like a mitten. I'm going to do some white lining the uh, front of the dress. And then bring it down. And do some detail around the bottom there. Little frills here on the neckline. Alright, she's really starting to fill in. Outline the hand on the dress with the same pink. I'm going to do her lips. Little teeny lips. <laughs> now I'm going to do her eyes. Just almond shape. Uh, there we go. I uh, uh, skipped a little bit there. I uh, did some black around the eyes and then the inside the mouth. The lips. Now here the night I'm going to do his eyes blue. Put a dot in there. And 
And the shield, I think I'm going to do like a star symbol on. So I'm going to use the dark blue first, kind of paint the star symbol on. Fill that in. Then I'm going to use a light blue to outline. Nice. Fun, fun. I'm going to paint her eyes this light blue. There we go. Left a little white in the center there for a highlight. Just a nose with a little bit of brown. Paint the detail of the hands. This is just a medium brown. All right, sweet. Eyebrows. All right, she's really coming together. Now the night, I'm going to do a little highlight in his eye there. Just a dab of white. Looking good. A little highlight on the nose there. Now I got this, uh, this is kind of a glue. It's a glitter glue. And I'm going to paint it on the dress to give a nice um, kind of uh, shiny look. Well, glittery, uh, sparkly look. There we go, like. Do the same with the knight for his armor. Get some extra sparkles on there. Why not? Sparkles are great. All right, looking good. Sir Bottoms. All right, now I'm going to use some felt. And uh, it's just a couple inches of felt. I cut it in this shape. And I'm going to take my princess my um, goop put it on the uh, hair bend it in a little more on there and uh, fold it down you're gonna have to hold this because it won't it won't uh, stay uh, as, as easily if you don't so you'll have to hold it for a few and I let it dry, and now I want to make a crown for the princess. So I'm going to use a little bead. Uh, I put the goop on that, glue that on top. Then I have this little star bead that I just got from a box of beads. And I'll glue it in the top. And there we go. Nice. Really cute. Okay, now I've got some uh, embroidery thread. And I'm going to cut it into sections. Okay, now I've got a little, uh, a little uh, small bead here, but it's big enough that the embroidery thread can go through. I'm going to thread it through, and I'm going to pull it uh, until I think it's long enough. I'm going to push it in there with the toothpick, get it all through. Okay, this is going to be Sir Bottom's little feather on the top of his head, so there we go. I cut it. Nice. I use my goop, put it on the top. The excess off. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, now I want to uh, paint that uh, bead to match the rest. So I'm going to paint it with the bright silver. And that just blends right into the armor. Nice. Now here's some peg people I've done, and uh, let's look at our uh, ones we did for the episode. Uh, Princess Casta, I think she really came out cute, uh, just really fun, uh, basic, you know, but uh, it looks great. I mean, I think it's great for kids. It's what's great is for RPGing as well as playing with a toy. I mean, nice. And uh, there we go. There's Sir Bottoms Knight, and he came out really fun. I like his fun mustache and. Just really easy to do. So uh, we'll come back uh, next time and do some more of these peg people. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed this uh, special edition of the DM's Craft Peg People uh, for the young at heart. And uh, this is a great craft to do with kids. Uh, you can do it for your RPG, make figures for your RPGs or even just toys for them to play with. So I think this is a great uh, segue into crafting for the younger like uh, my little nieces. Uh, I had them help me paint 
and then I did the detail work. But as, they, as, the, as the kids mature, get older, and get more confident and better motor skills, you can allow them to do uh, some more of the uh, fine detail work too. So uh, I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm going to bring you more of these. Also, I wanted to bring in the story of uh, Princess Casta and Sir Bottom, uh, but uh, I kind of ran out of time in this video, so I'm going to do another video that kind of details their story from this episode. So uh, that'll be kind of part two, but a much shorter episode. So uh, I wanted to also thank one of my biggest, youngest fans, and uh, here she is. Hi, Sparky. <laughs> well, the tip that I would give is um, we recently...